Welcome. The purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to draw more complex roof geometry using outline blocks. To demonstrate the process, I'll draw a dormer roof, which will reinforce many of the concepts shown in previous tutorials. Further information is available in the help file. Here we have a two-storey building with two blocks forming a full height occupied space on the first floor here. The glazing to the two first floor zones is to be provided via identical dormer windows on the western side of the building here. The best way to create the model is to draw the first dormer using an outline block and then clone the object once completed to quickly create the second dormer. The vertical front face of the dormer normally sits directly over the top of the vertical wall below. Here. So I've used an overhanging roof to show you how to deal with the worst case situation. As with most complex geometry, I'll start by using construction lines. To provide a framework on which the outline block can be drawn. The dormers are to be 2 metres wide and located 2 metres from each end of the roof. I first switch on increment snaps set to 1 metre. Move the cursor onto the vertical face of the west wall. Press and hold shift. Locate the point 2 metres from the end of the roof left click and release the shift then draw the dormer base construction line at 2 meters and repeat for the second dormer the dormer side walls are to be 1 meter high and the roof apex is 2 meters high note that these dimensions are the height above the top of the west wall not the roof surface as the dormer base construction line is located on top of the wall. I lock onto the vertical wall with the shift key and am then able to easily locate all three vertical construction lines using the horizontal construction line. I'll also add one vertical line to help locate the cloned second dormer. Now the construction lines are drawn, I can create the outline block. Select Add Block and change the block type to Outline Block. Ensure that the polygon shape and straight line type options are set and leave the remaining options at default. Move the cursor onto the vertical face until highlighted. Press and hold the shift key. Select the start point for the outline block on one of the construction line end point snaps and then trace round the remaining endpoints to create the vertical face of the outline block. Move the cursor back and fully through the roof structure and left click to finalise the length of the extrusion and then cancel the add block function. I now need to cut the outline block along the plane of the roof slope to remove the rear section and prevent a block intersection error when converting the dormer section to a building block. Select the block, select the cut block tool Choose the select plane cutting method here. Move the cursor onto the sloping roof until highlighted. Left click to choose the plane and a further left click to confirm the cut. Select the rear outline block and delete it. I 
I must now convert the outline block to a building block. Select the block, choose Convert Selected Outlines to Blocks, and choose a representative wall thickness. I'll use 0.1 meters. A thin wall structure can be helpful when identifying and cutting holes in surfaces for relatively small objects, such as dormers. The dormer block has now been created and is shown in the navigation panel as block 1 here. I'll rename it as Dormer North. Adding glazing will be discussed in a later tutorial. I now need to cut a hole in the floor of the dormer and merge it with the occupied zone below. Navigate to the floor surface, select the normal view, select the draw hole tool, turn off increment snaps and trace round the floor internal surface using the end point snaps. The green outline confirms that the hole has been successfully drawn. Cancel the draw hole function and go back to building level and axonometric view. To create the second dormer I simply clone the block and locate it using the construction line drawn previously. I then follow the same procedure to name the block and I'll call it Dormer South. I can now remove all construction lines using the Edit Menu option. Before we look at merging the zones, I'll review the internal geometry. Each of the two zones in the upper first floor block has two holes. One linking it to the lower part, here, and one to the dormer above, here. I can use the Merge Zones dialog in the Tools menu to merge all zones by simply selecting the Merge Zones Connected by Hole option. Notice that the merged zones are now shown in blue in the navigation panel. Further information on merging zones and the other topics covered can be found in the help file and other tutorials.